Okay, so good day everyone. So in this problem, it involves solving material balance without chemical reaction in the DWSIM software. Okay, so here goes the problem. Fresh air containing 4 mole percent water vapor is to be cooled and dehumidified to a water content of 1.70 mole percent water. A stream of fresh air is combined with a recycled stream of previously dehumidified air and passed through the cooler. The blended stream entering the unit contains 2.30 mole percent water. In the air conditioner, some of the water in the feed stream is condensed and then removed as liquid. A fraction of the dehumidified air leaving the cooler is recycled and then the remainder is delivered to a room. Taking 100 mole of dehumidified air delivered to the room as a basis of calculation, calculate the moles of fresh feed, moles of water condensed, and then the moles of dehumidified air recycled. Okay, now in this slide, we have the schematic diagram of our problem. Now in this system, we have uh, an entering fresh air with a mole fraction of 0.960 and that it contains 4 mole percent water vapor and that it passes through a mixer together with the recycled stream. So here it is stated in the problem that a stream of fresh air is combined with a recycled stream of previously dehumidified air. So here we have N2 as our blended stream which enters the air conditioner unit and that it contains a mole fraction of 0.977 dehumidified air and 0 0.023 for the water vapor. So we notice that we have an output here in our air conditioner. We name this our N3 because it is stated in the problem that in the air conditioner, some of the water in the feed stream is condensed and removed as liquid. So we get a mole fraction of with a value of 1 for the water vapor here. So in this problem, we take 100 mole of dehumidified air delivered to the room as our basis to solve for the calculation and here we are tasked to calculate the moles of fresh feed, the moles of water condensed, and the moles of dehumidified air recycled. So in this slide, solving manually, we have a basis of 100 moles of dehumidified air, which is the DA, and with the assumption of steady state process and now we can take our overall material balance with the equation of n1 equals n3 plus da so with a value of 100 as our basis we can now have our first equation which is n1 equals n3 plus 100 so in terms of dry air balance or the dehumidified air balance we have 0.960 n1 equals 0 plus 0.983 times 100 so now we can have our n1 which is 102.4 moles so getting n3 we have 102.4 which is the n1 equals n3 plus 100 so we can now have our n3 as the with a value of 2.4 moles so here the material balance at the mixing point we have n1 plus n5 equals n2 so this is our feed stream and we, and this N5 here is our recycled stream and the N2 here is the blended stream. So with a value of 102.4 plus N5 equals N2 and then solving of the unknowns using system of equations, we get the following values for N2 and N5 which is N2 equals 392.53 moles and the N5 equals 290.13 moles. So to start, let's now open our DWSIM software. Then we click on create new steady state simulation.
And now we can click on next. Then for our compounds, we will add the air and the water. Then we click on next. Here for our property packages, we will use the Rolf's Law. Then we click on add and then next. For our system of units, we will as is choose the SI units. And now we can click on finish. So before anything else, let's auto hide the integrator controls. And then also the panel and then we can drag this down this one for a better view of our system so first we can turn off the button and first to add we can drag a compound separator here okay so for this compound separator we will add one inlet stream and then two outlet streams and then also one energy stream so after that here in the mixer splitter portion we will drag a stream mixer and one stream splitter so for our mixer, we will add two inlet streams for our feed stream and for our recycle stream. And also here for our splitter, we will add two outlet streams for our product and for our recycle stream. So here in this portion, we will now drag a logical operator, which is the recycle block that connects our recycle streams. Then we can rotate this to plus 180 degrees. Also this one. And last this one. So now we can now rename our streams and our unit operations. Okay, for this one, for our material stream 5, let's rename this stream as our feed N1. For this one, we can name this as our mixer. For our compound separator, we will rename this one as our air conditioner. And this inlet stream here, we will rename this one as our blended stream N2. Okay, clicking on material stream 2, we will rename this one as our N4. Next, another stream of our air conditioner, we will name this one. So here is our N3. So for our splitter, we will rename this object as the dehumidifier. And these two outlet streams here, we will name this one, the material stream 7, as our product. And our material stream 6, we will rename this one as our um, R1. So this is for our recycle stream. So this one is our N5. So having all the streams and unit operations named, we can now proceed inputting our data. So let's try to disconnect all the connections first. So here in our feed stream, we will input the compound amounts, the compound amount sections rather. For air, we have 0.960 because it is stated in the problem that 
fresh feed contains 4 mole percent water vapor so the air is that automatically that one so we click on accept changes and here for our blended stream n2 we input our data in this problem because it is stated there that 2.30 mole percent for the water vapor that is blended from the recycle and feed stream so for our air we have that one so then we click on accept changes so here for our n4 it is stated in the problem that it contains 1.70 mole percent water vapor that is to be dehumidified so we will then input our mole fraction here for our air we have 0.983 so there you go click on accept changes again so for our entry we have in the compound amounts it is stated in the problem that some of the water in the feed stream is condensed and removed as liquid so yes so in the product stream we have in the compound amounts it is the same as the N4 we have 0.983 and 0.017 so there we click on accept changes again also same for our R1 still 0.983 and 0.017 for water so here in our N5 in the compound amounts it is also the same we have 0.983 and 0 0.017 okay so click on accept changes so now we have inputted all our given values from our problem so now we can try to connect all streams and our unit operations again here our outlet streams we have n4 and n3 then for our dehumidifier our n our inlet stream is our N4 and for our outlet streams we have the product and the R1 so yes in this recycle stream we have our R1 and the N5 by the recycle block Okay, so let's try to rearrange it first. We align it for a nicer diagram. So there. So again, one more time, let's review our streams if we inputted all the given values in the compound amount section. So yes, it is all set. And we notice that here in the compound amounts of our product, let's try to disconnect that from our dehumidifier and then let's input the 0.983 and 0.017 okay we click on accept changes and then we go connect that back again okay so it is all set okay so, that, so after that we will add five specification blocks in our system because this will help us calculate and have our values fixed so another one here so our spec pack three here and four in the feed and the n5 and the spec block five here so now here in our spec block one we have our source object is the dehumidifier Yes, and still our target object will be still our dehumidifier. So for the source property, we will choose the stream 2 flow spec. 
So in the dependency expression, y equals 100. So this is because we take 100 moles of dehumidified air as our basis. So in the spec block 2, we have our source object is the N4, and our target object will be now the dehumidifier. For the source property, we will have the molar flow. The target property now will be the stream 1 flow spec. So for the dependency expression, we have y equals x minus 100. So here in our spec block 3, we have um, our source object will be now the dehumidifier again, and then the target object will be feed N1. For our source property is the stream 2 flow spec and then the molar flow for the target property. For the dependency expression, we have y equals the quantity of x times 0.983 all over the 0.960. So this one is our dry air balance or the dehumidified air balance so for our spec block 4 we have the source object so we choose on the R feed and then the target object will be now the N5 so for the source property we will choose the molar flow and same as our target property so for the dependency expression, we have y equals the x times the quantity of 0 0.04 minus 0 0.023 all over the quantity of 0 0.023 minus 0 0.017. So this is the water balance. So for our spec block 5, we have um, so we connect this from our feed and then the air conditioner so our source object will be our feed N1 and then the target object will be our air conditioner the source property here we will choose the molar flow mixture slash water and then set spec value water for the dependency expression we have um, x minus 100 the quantity of 100 times 0 0.017 so yes our system is now ready to have some values that is required from our problem so now let's turn the button to solve our flow sheet okay I forgot to tell you that in the air conditioner we set the units in the water we have mole per second and then also in the dehumidifier we have calculation type for the calculation parameters we have three mole flow spec Okay, so again, this, our system is ready to have some values that is required from our problem. So now let's um, turn on the button to solve our flow sheet. So first thing to do is trying to recalculate first our spec block 1. Because this is where it all started as we take 100 moles of dehumidified air from our product. so sorry for that 
So right click and then Okay, right click and then click on recalculate okay good for our dehumidifier again let's try to recalculate that one and also for our spec block 2 so here we notice that our dehumidifier in the stream 2 flow spec we have 100 mole per second so proceeding on the spec block 3 we calculate that one and then in the disconnected in the feed so the flow of that, we have recalculating these remaining spec blocks. So and then we can now solve flow sheet. So yes, that's it. So okay, we see that in the product stream, we have the compound amounts in the air, 0.9826 is still the same, so it has changed slightly. In the feed stream, we have the molar flow of 102.396, and as is the compound amounts. For our N5, we have the molar flow of 290.122 mole per second. And here in our compound amounts, is still the same. Here in our blended stream N2, we have the molar flow of 392.517 mole per second. Okay. So in the N3, we have 2.39583 mole per seconds in the molar flow. So yes, we can see that it is 100 mole per second as our basis. And now we can create a master property table Okay, for our object, we have product and then our feed and then the blended stream N2 or N5 and then our N3. Okay, for our property, we have, so let's check the molar flow and then there you go. We have the master property table, we have objects and then the molar flow. So comparing our values that we solve manually, the values that we calculate here in the TWSIN software, we notice that it is almost approximately has the same value. I mean in the true value. We have our N5. 290.122 or N3 we have 2.39583 and for our product we have the basis of 100 moles per second for our feed N1 we have 102.396 and then the blended stream N2 we have 392.517 mole per second so yes So that's it. We have now the value. You can see that our system now is solved. So yes, that's all for now. I hope you learned in this video. Ciao!